Hi everyone, it's your girl Letitia with Cincy. Um, I'm actually up it's around 10.43 p.m. Um, watching one of my favorite Netflix shows called The Office. I really, really love this show. <laughs> it's funny because I will actually watch the whole entire season and start all over again from the first season. I don't know why. <laughs> it beats all the nonsense of reality TV shows and things like that that go on throughout the day. So, today I'm going to talk to you guys about Cincy, as always. Um, if you're watching this video, you're either already a brand new, fresh out of the box Cincy consultant, or you're thinking about joining Cincy, and I'm very happy if you're either one of those people. And I really want to congratulate you on joining, and also you're wanting to pursue and start your own business and manage your own dreams and your own goals and um, that's just amazing. I do not have an agenda tonight. I'm just doing this freestyle and just going off of um, my own thoughts. Um, if you notice from my team Facebook page, I have sort of like purged it a lot. I have taken a lot of people out of my team page and it wasn't necessarily to offend anyone or um, anything like that. Um, basically, I needed to take out the people who I have been working with for a, a while now um, and I just felt and also many of them also felt that, you know, since he just wasn't for them. And um, sometimes, you know, negativity is contagious and sometimes you have to sort of purge that out of your life and focus on your own business. So um, one major thing that I want to say about Cincy is that Cincy is not a get quick rich type of business. OK, if you think that for your first three months that you're going to come out the box making thousands of thousands of dollars a month you're going to get out all of your debt get rid of all that if you have any debt buy a brand new car a brand new house and you're just happy for the rest of your life you really need to just shut off this video if you think that please shut off this video right now and go watch tv or something like that i mean i don't mean to sound mean but i really think that i need to start being more honest a very much I'm always honest but being even more honest and more realistic about this business when I'm actually talking about it to people since he's not a get quick get rich quick scheme it's not you have to work it you have to work it as if this was a job this is your business and you really really have to work it as a business okay and the more you work it the more you're going to get out of it Okay, I have been a consultant since June. Okay, and I'm telling you that I have, and I, I'm telling you, I work my business just the same as I work my full time job. I have a full time Monday to Friday, nine to five job, and I also work my Cincy business on the side. I'm the mother of three children, I am a wife, and I have bills and uh, family things, full time work, and also my business that I run every single day. Okay, and I do take some days off, so, but I work my business the majority of my week, okay, and um, I don't rely on people coming to me. I get out there and I reach, I put my business out there. You're joining Cincy, or if you're thinking about joining Cincy, please don't have that thought in your mind that once you join, people are just going to start banging down your door wanting to buy from you. That is the most unrealistic thought that you will ever think. It's not like that. Just like any business out there, any business, you go to New York Company, you go to H&M, you go to um, Louis Vuitton, wherever, those people have to promote themselves. You are the biggest advertisement. You have to promote yourself. You know, that's that's very, very important. OK, um, you have to get out there and, and get Cincy in people's hands. You have to um, even message people one on one. Go down your Facebook list, your Twitter list, your Instagram list, wherever, and really get your business out there. Start a VIP list, you know, where you're sending um, potential customers samples, you know, um, what I do, let's let's go back to what I do. What I do, and this is my week, okay? Every week, okay? I start my weekend. I prepare my the next week on 
the weekend. Like, for example, today is Saturday, okay? And what I did was I made 50 samples. I took um, my product list, my uh, monthly special flyers, and my samples, and I create those. I create 50 of them. It's really simple and easy. It literally took me like an hour and a half maybe because I have three children, so I'm, I had to stop in between. But it's not hard. And what I do is, is I make sure, okay, the reason why I make 50 samples, I'm like, okay, I work five days a week. I take public transportation. I can easily pass out 10 samples to random people. It's not a problem for me. Yes, in the beginning, it was a little bit nervous because I really have a fear of rejection. And yeah, people are going to say, no, I don't want a sample. But if I could just get 10 people a day just to take a sample from me, to me, that's amazing. So I, t every, th every day, Monday to Friday, I... Uh, if I'm walking past the lady or if I'm on the train or if even if I'm standing there waiting for the train or whatever, I pass my samples out to 10 people. You know, I'm not going to let nothing, I'm not going to let, I'm not even going to let myself, my own personal fears that I have of approaching people, I'm not going to let that stop me from getting what I want. Okay? So, um... That's what I do. And then what I just do out the week, I promote myself. I get out there. I, I uh, message people, different things. I post things on my fan page. Or if you want to have a group page, you can do that. That's awesome. However you want to do it. Um, but I made a central page on Facebook my fan page to where I post everything. Like I post different specials that is on my website. I post... Um, any type of products, the holiday collection I've been posting this week, the um, uh, bring back my bring back my bar voting um, thing. I post different things like that. Um, and if you want to post five, six, seven, eight things a day, that's up to you. If you want to post one thing a day, that's up to you. The point is that you got to get Cincy out there. You got to get your business out there. People are not going to come to you if you're not coming to them. I mean, that's, that's, that's what direct selling is. You're d directly selling to someone. But you want to start off sharing, Cincy, which is very important. Um, then another thing I do is, I, again, I have my VIP list. I have about 25 people on my VIP list to where I send out little cards, you know, once a month. Um, I'm part of the monthly um, warmer of the month subscription. So when that comes out, I make little samples for, me for that. Um... Oh, another thing I do is I create videos. Um, videos are simple. I don't think anybody, sh there should be any excuse for why anybody can't make a video. I have a webcam, but there's times when I don't feel like loading my, you know, installing my webcam into my laptop. So I use my phone to make videos, you know, do a little haul, you know, things like that. You have to do that. You know, not every month you're going to be making the numbers that you want to make. But please, please always set a goal. You know, like to this month is October and I'm setting my goal for $1,000. You know, next month my goal is $2,000. You know, you have to set a goal. I mean, that's so important. Whether it's a goal of how many people you want to recruit and also a goal of how much sales, how much PRV you want to make. You know, um, September was not a good month for me at all. It was not. I mean, it was one of my worst months that I ever had since I started in June. So when I realized towards the middle of September that it wasn't going to be a profitable month for me, I started doing something that I called planting seeds. So what I did was towards the middle of September, I sent out personal messages to everybody. Okay, probably like two, three hundred people. One on one messages. I literally said, okay, let me send out like 20 messages or 30 messages a day. I don't remember how much I did a day. So, what I did was I sent out messages to everyone. And what I said was that, would you like to throw a little uh, catalog or a pouch party for me in November? I really, that's what I, that's, <laughs> I meant what I said, November. I wanted to plan like well ahead for the holiday season. So, out of all the people that I had sent personal messages to, I got eight basket parties booked. Okay? Now, normally a basket parties do like about $20, $200 minimum because that's a qualifying party. And I do predict that people are going to do more, but I'm going to go for 200 right now that they're going to do. Now, if you times 200 by 8, there you go. That's what your PRV is going to be. Now, I'm not just going to rely on that. I'm also going to rely on me just promoting myself, still passing out my samples every day, 
still posting every, um, still posting different things on my fan page, things like that. You have to work your business through different avenues. Now, I still consider myself as being a brand new consultant, and how I do my training is that even though my sponsor is amazing, I don't rely on her for training and motivation. I don't just rely on her. She does her weekly training. Uh, YouTube live videos and things like that and all of them are amazing. I'm sitting there with my paper and pen taking down notes on taking down useful um, tips that I can do um, to help my business. But I just don't rely on that. Since he has his own if you go into your workstation, since he has his own training calls every Tuesday and yes there are times where I'm not able to make those because they're like uh, they start at like 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I'm still I'm working them, but if I can like take a break or something like that and be able to participate in those training calls, they normally do those again every Tuesday at 12 p.m. I definitely go and do those training calls, and and they're live and they're amazing. Okay, every Tuesday is a different topic. I also subscribe to other consultants' channels, YouTube channels like Katie Forner, um, Christy Stanbrook. Um, I mean, there's a number of people that, um, Edie Ann, she's like my number one, um, person that I look at her videos and find out tips, you know? I mean, there's tons of stuff for you to do. You have to get out there and seek the training and get out there and educate yourself so that you be, could become a better businesswoman or businessman, however you want to do it. But please do not just rely on your sponsor, okay? I mean... I know truly. I know that I'm a very good sponsor. I'm a very um, evolved sponsor. I'm the one that would literally text you or message you or or uh, Facebook message you like maybe three, four, or five times a week. Cause I just want to see how you guys are doing and see how I could be able to help you more. You know. But the point is, is that there's a lot of training out there that you can also utilize. You know, that is free. And it's just great. So, um, the major thing I want to tell you guys also is that you cannot let fear stop you. Okay? You know, you can't let that get in your way. What I did when I first started, since I made a dream board, if you scroll down, you'll actually see it on the page of my dream board. And when I have my down moments with Cynthia when I feel like oh my god I didn't make um my goal this week because I always have a weekly goal to so I'm, in order for me to make my monthly goal but whenever I'm feeling down I look at my dream board and what that helps me do is helps me remember the reason why I joined Cincy you know and that's what really really keeps me going and I feel that this is a feeling uh, when I feel down I feel like even people who have million dollar companies, they have a moment when they feel down. You know, I know they do, but they keep moving forward. You have to continuously move forward and say, okay, what else can I do today to get my business out there? What else can I do today to share my Cincy business, you know? And the point is, the major thing is you got to get Cincy in people's hands, you know? You got to get them samples or different postings that you may have you got to share your favorite product of the week or your favorite product of the month or whatever you have to get yourself out there you know you can't let fear and discouragement and procrastination and self-doubt get in your way you cannot do that you know since he will get you to where you want to be but you have to do the work you have to do the work Please do, I, I mean, I have girls that have joints under me and they just really think that, that they can, not all of them, but there's a few of them that really think that, oh my God, I'm going to make so much, I want to make so much money. I'm going to pay for my children's tuition in the first three months or six months. I'm just going to make so, so much money. And then when they join and they feel like, okay, nobody's buying from me. Okay. So what did you do? Well, I, I put my catalog here, and, and that's what I've been doing, and nobody's buying for me. If that's all you did, is, if that's all you did is go to your job and just put your catalogs up and your testers up, and then people are just going to run to your office or wherever and just buy from you, you know, maybe direct selling is just not for you. You know, you have to work it. I do different avenues a day, every single day. I do different 
avenues and different resources in order to get my name out there, to get my business out there. I do those all the time. It's like my, it's like my sensi system that has never failed me till this day. Not to say you're not going to have bad months. I had one bad month since I joined and, you know, it just works out that way, you know, and I, it's not that I didn't work hard. I was still promoting my business. I was still pushing it, but you have those down times, but there are going to be many months that you're going to have, you're going to be blown out the park. This month is October and I am blowing it out the freaking park. I'm trying to keep up with all the customers and all the demand that I have now. And yes, there's some days where it's just a little bit overwhelming. I'm like, okay, oh my God, I forgot to get back to that lady. I forgot to tell this lady that told her. I forgot to send out um, this lady's pouch party or whatever time management is very very important it's very important that you establish time management it's very important that you have a, a planner that is just designated for Cincy it's very important that you um you know always respond right away when people have questions whether it be on your Facebook somebody may have a comment of um, something that you posted or if somebody wants you to send them a catalog you want to get on top of that you want to be you want to give your customers great customer service because that's what's going to keep your customers loyal if you're per if you're one of your customers purchase something from you it don't matter how big or small the purchase is. If somebody purchased from you the month of October, you want to follow up on them two weeks later after their purchase just to see how the purchase is going, how the item is going. And then you want to follow up with them again either two to three months later just to see if they need refills. So don't just stop at, okay, oh wait, she purchased from me, so um, that's it, goodbye. No, you want to keep, keep, you know, in communication with your customers. I cannot stress that enough. That is just so, so important. And um, what I do is um, one tip that I have is that you can get one of those accordion folders and you could just tag them by the month from January to December. And basically, okay, to this month is October. So I actually followed up with all the customers that I had in August um, just to see if they need any refills or anything, or I'll tell them, okay, we got the new fall winter scent, so um, let me send you some samples on that. Or um, don't forget about the combine and save program. I mean, whatever pops up to my in my head, or it could be something they asked me about a month ago, and I just following up on them with, you know, things like that. It's just very important that you establish good customer service. And also another thing is is um, if you are going to be using social media as one of your venues to promote your business, always watch what you put on social media. You, you know, you, I mean, even though I have my, I have a fan page for Cincy, I have a, I have a page designated for Cincy, and it's my Cincy page. I also have a personal Facebook page, and I always like to watch what I put on that as well, because people are looking. You don't want to put nothing negative. You don't want to put nothing political or um. Anything that's going to create conflict or for people to say, oh, I don't agree with that view or things like that. You want to watch it. I mean, most of the things I post on my personal Facebook page is family stuff or little pictures of myself or my outfit of the day or um, different things like that. It's my traveling. <laughs> I definitely purchase. I definitely um, post a lot of traveling um, pictures and videos and things like that so you always want to just be positive you know and you want to be excited about your business if you're not excited about your business guess what your customers or potential customers are not going to be excited about your business you want to smile even though you don't feel like smiling or you want to really really promote the pro your product with a sense of enthusiasm you know you don't want to be this debbie downer or this boring sales girl or or this pushy sales girl again you share since Share Cincy first, you know. If you're using Cincy in your home, whether it be the hand soaps or the detergent line, you want to, you know, if you're doing laundry, you want to do a quick video on that. Oh, you know, I use the sun kiss citrus washer whips. Oh, these smell so great. Different things like that. Actually showing them how you use the products, things like that. So um, I know I pretty much rambled around all in this video, and I hope that it was helpful if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I also posted, posted another video below. I forgot the young lady's name, but I actually was just watching the, her video before I actually um, 
recorded this one and I really really felt that it was very super helpful it definitely motivated me sometimes you need that re rejuvenation sometimes where you could be having a good month one month but you, you still want to continuously train yourself and develop yourself and always remind yourself of why you joined Cincy and again I'm super excited and very happy that you are watch tuning in on this video and you are thinking about joining Cincy or you are a new Cincy consultant but you you know trying to look for that extra encouragement and I'm always here to help you do that if you ever have any questions always email me always call me always message me however if you want to do all three that's fine I'll get right back to you you guys have an awesome day thank you thank you so much again for watching bye